Hello clan and welcome back to Resident Evil 7. This of course was one of my favourite games of last year by a country mile I should add and uh, it pleases me greatly um, to finally get around to playing the DLC. Now yeah, full disclosure I've already played through this once um, however that was like six weeks ago prior to recording this um however when i went to edit the videos back um something has gone horribly wrong with them uh they're all out of sync and just i don't know they're, they're not usable so sadly i'm gonna have to re-record this uh, series luckily this isn't like a huge um dlc at the same time i'm actually quite glad i get to play this again um uh, i i I don't know if it's spoil anything, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. It's so good to play as Chris again. Uh, and much to my surprise, if we go to start game, um, and where are we? Extra content. There is End of Zoe as well, which is a DLC that slipped under my radar. I didn't even know this existed. So I don't need to tell you. That, that was a huge welcome surprise for me so uh, we will be diving into that uh, shortly as well anyway let's hit up not a hero this of course was uh, supposed to come out like um, early last year I believe um, or at least summer last year and then it was delayed um, until a couple of months ago and um, I personally think it was worth the wait. I think I think this is great. Anyway, Ethan's struggle is over, but there is still one last mess to clean up, and the job falls to Chris Redfield, a veteran in the fight against bioterrorism. Oh yes. So of course, uh, if I hit up a new game, um, I have unlocked some stuff. I guess we could go to professional. <laughs> for those who are ready to punch something, but I think we're going to keep it casual. Keep it casual. For those who can handle a little action. Oh, way to insult me, game. For those who are just here for the story and the puzzles. Wait, I'm sorry, puzzles? Pu I, I don't remember any puzzles, but okay. Let's go normal. Operation Lurking Fear. Chris Redfield is a high-profile BSAA member who has resolved many a bioterrorism... Uh, SSDs, eh? SSDs. Is it ready? Can we begin? Man, I can't help it, man. We've got work to do. Well, Lucas seemed a little bit angry about something. has been secured. He's alive and well considering. And Lucas Baker? Right now, he's our only link to the connections. He's next on my list. Now that is more like it. Look at Chris, man. He is armed to the teeth and dressed to kill. Look at that gear he's wearing. This is so badass. This is what I want. And I'm a fan of this tactical HUD that we have here, too. Umbrella. Hmm. Right. Interesting. In the mine. Signal strong. You're coming through loud and clear, Chris. Excellent. We didn't get much from the first unit before we lost contact. Yeah, I see. Apparently, Lucas turned the mine into his own personal hideout. Hmm. How many men did we lose? Three of our best. Oh. Their last transmission was near a lab that should be just ahead. I'm going to need you to check it out. Got it. Well, alrighty then. Now, as Chris, we are equipped with some interesting hardware. We, of course, have Chris's Samurai's Edge here, which is uh, pretty damn sweet. Uh, it's very powerful. It was, of course, unlockable in the main game. Um, however, in the main game, it was a replica, whereas this is the full fat model uh, that holds nine rounds as opposed to three. And we have this little beauty here. This is... Uh, Thor. Is it called Thor? Yeah, Thor's hammer, which is quite an interesting weapon, actually. Uh, I was reading up on this when it came out, and um, 
you know, most weapons are based in reality. Um, yeah, apart from sci-fi games and things like that. But most weapons are based in reality. For instance, the Samurai's Edge is based around the Beretta, uh, highly modified Beretta. Um, now, this weapon isn't actually a real weapon, but it is a real airsoft weapon, which I thought was really, really interesting. Calling it an airsoft weapon's a bit... Mm. Yeah, you get what I mean. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, I believe, the first documented case, apparently, when I, when I was reading up on this, that an airsoft weapon has actually been... Um, chosen over a real life weapon but it is quite the fearsome beast indeed thor's hammer model 02 an albert w model shotgun designed for the sole purpose of eliminating bio weapons semi-auto and packs a punch yes indeed it does we of course have our tactical knife i always think it would have been better if we could just punch the enemies oh wait we can but a little bit more on that later. Um, what else do we have here? Tactical briefing document. Let's have a little gander at this, shall we? Operation Lurking Fear. Primary mission. Extract Lewis Baker. Location. Uh, Dolby, Louisiana, USA. A Baker Estate. Threat profile. Molded. Alpha variant. Others. Anti-personnel traps. Lethal and non. Mm-hmm. Notes, due to the lack of intelligence and the number of unknown factors involved, Chris Redfield of the BSAA will act as bioweapon specialist on missions. Location update, recent intel has confirmed that Lewis Baker is holed up in the mines near the Baker estate. Profile, Lucas Baker. Suspected associate of criminal organization The Connections. Hmm, okay, we haven't heard of those before. Role unconfirmed. Holds vital intelligence regarding said organization. Profile The Connections. Criminal organization producing bioweapons for sale on the international black markets. Limited intel on size, market share, and members. They are prime suspects implicated in the production and distribution of the E-Series bioweapons. E-Series model uh, Evelyn is present and active at the Baker estate. Lucas Baker seems to have been monitoring her and reporting her activities. Alrighty, a little bit more background there. Me like very much. Uh, no game, that's not what I wanted to do. Thank you. Let's have a little read of this one. For many of you, this is your first mission with us, so we wanted to make it clear that um, uh, what Umbrella is all about. Although many of our staff hail from the infamous pharmaceutical giant Umbrella, our purpose is to make amends for the atrocities perpetrated under the Umbrella name. That is why we reincorporated as a PMC in 2007. So they're a PMC now? What? Hmm, I don't know. They... Okay, sure, fine. We'll put a stop to not only anybody who is engineering or selling bioweapons, but those who support the efforts as well. We made a mess and now we have to clean it up. By keeping the umbrella name, we show that we take responsibility for that mess. We want you to remember that you carry this responsibility with you in every mission. Um... Yeah, yeah, sure, okay, that, that, that's kind of odd, but, but we roll with it. We have some frags as well. When in doubt, get the frags out. Now, let's take our little handgun for a walk. We remember this area, certainly we do. Oh, we had some fun and games in here as Ethan. But we're not Ethan anymore, we are a seasoned warrior of the Resident Evil universe. The most seasoned warrior of the Resident Evil uh Universe, I would say. The only other person that can rival us, ooh, would be Jill Valentine. Hello, buddy. Nice to see you, to see you nice. Get out of my way. You can punch enemies when they stagger. Yes, you can. Uh, I can't actually remember how we do that. Hey, pal. Ooh, he's getting a little bit closer to punch without aiming. There we go. Boom, baby. Yep. Well, we know Chris can mess up a boulder, so of course, you know, a little uh, bipedal pile of mold isn't really going to be much... Oh, hello. Much of a threat to our friend Chris here. Oh, evening, buddy. Right in the kisser. Oh, doesn't get much easier than that, does it? All right, put a fresh mag in there. 
Hey, pal. Where are you hiding? Come on. Come join the fun. There we go. Did I say fun? Ooh. Damn. These guys take a lot more to stagger than I remember. Still, nothing for Chris. Dump that mag out. See you later, suckers. Let's go. Excellent. Any idea what Lucas is up to down here? We're still analyzing the data, but it looks like he's been running experiments with an E-type mutamycete. Mutamycete, eh? Yeah? haven't become a part of those experiments. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Let's hope, Chris. Because at the end of the day, my friend, all we have is hope. Now, do we have any goodies around here? We do not. Sad times, indeed. Now, ooh, oh, hello. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We can still smell Ethan's cologne down here. Mmm, fresh. Okay. Ooh, what do we have? A grenade. Don't mind if I do. Can never have too many grenades. No, sir. No, sir, you cannot. This area is clear. You know, I'm surprised there's still equipment down here after our friend Ethan um, going over this place with a, a fine tooth comb. Ooh, hey, buddy. I'll be right with you, my friend. Let me just uh, have a little squiz at this. Okay, it doesn't appear that we can have a squiz at anything. Hey there, buddy. Looks like we got a dead end next year. I'm getting you out of here. Leave me. It's too late. We're both walking out of here. I got yeah. news for you. What? Oh. That's not gonna happen. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> now you can try and take that off all you want, but I'd advise against. Oh. Uh -oh. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Hell. Now here's the deal, Chris. You don't follow me, and I'll bounce your head off the ceiling. Oh. The same goes for your little soldier friends too. Adios. Move, chachos. <laughs> mm-hmm. Why Lucas doesn't kill us here? I have no idea. Ooh. Contamination. It's the E-type mutamycete. Oh, fantastic. Keep an eye on your oxygen tank to be safe. Okay, I got it. Oh, our oxygen is depleting rather rapidly. I don't know if there's anything we can grab here. Our air is rapidly dwindling here. Yes, thank you, my dear. I can I can see that. Oh, I'll take it. Not a hundred percent sure what we just picked up, mind you. And we can breathe. Yeah. I don't want to give that asshole a head start. Now, is there anything else in here? We can always exit out and get our health back, which is nice. Now, when I played this before, I did miss. A couple of files, which I'm not sure where the heck they could be, Your to be honest. Never mind. We shall persevere. God damn it. You and these bloody spores. Honestly. Ridiculous. Still uh, a little bit spory out here. Oh, hey, pal. Let's try and aim at him, Chris. <gasps> Ooh, right. That's all she wrote for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We need air. I want to explore this area Don't forget about your fairly well. Oh. Okay, cool. There's a little bit of breathing space here. Lovely. Take a deep breath, my friend. You're going to need it. Lovely. Let's go. I definitely want to have a little squiz around in here. Because, as I said, I missed stuff last time. And that makes me very sad. Because I don't like missing stuff. Especially story and whatnot. However, it does seem there's probably nothing here. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, let's get out of here. Chris, we finished analyzing the data we intercepted from Lucas. I see. Oh. Find him and bring him in. We can't let this happen again. Roger, Roger. 
Maybe the BSAA is convinced. If they weren't, I wouldn't be here. But working with Umbrella is going to take some getting used to on my part. Yes. I know it must be difficult. And to tell the truth, a lot of our members have been with us since even before we reincorporated as a PMC. Mm -hmm. About all that's left now is the name. Let's just focus on the mission and maybe we can continue this conversation when you get back. Okay? Sure. Whatever. Well, I don't think we have any other choice, Chris, my friend. We should take the shotgun rounds. Excellent. And the bullets. Yes, we like bullets around these parts. And the antique coin. There is ten antique coins in this game to find. I hope I will be grabbing them all. When I played this... Uh, well, when I first recorded this, I did grab them all, but I did not find all of the files. Uh, I'm quite tempted to take a peek at a walkthrough. Maybe. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. I would like to get all the files. We have a green door. We have a red door. We have a black door. Black door is personally my favourite. Hmm. We also have a save area. Very, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. I'm a fan of the tape deck. Ooh. Sneaky little sausage. I never found that grenade before. Now we have... Um, Steroids and we have stabilizers. Now we know <laughs> our friend Chris here. Oh, buddy, oh boy, he is a fan of his steroids. Although in his uh, later years, he seems to have cut down just a little bit on them. Right, what have we got here? Uh, oh, we don't have anything, so we can't play with that. Um, there is a cutscene to trigger here. I'm sure. Am I being stupid? The answer to that and many other questions is yes, probably. Okay. Well, let's have a look, see what's in here. We've got the fast walk. Increases your walking speed. Running speed stays the same. Oh, a sight for Thor's hammer. Accuracy is sacrificed for a large increase in firepower. Oh, I really want to use that. Accuracy is sacrificed. I actually kind of want to use both of these things. I'm not good. You know, these things aren't exactly game breaking. I mean, we can walk a little bit faster and Thor's hammer. Okay, so you lose accuracy, but you gain damage. I mean, that's kind of a plus and a minus thing. So why the hell not? To be honest, guys, this isn't a very long um, game anyway. And... Okay, I can't. It doesn't actually feel like we're really moving that much faster. And on top of that, as well, I must be honest, it wasn't very hard. Yeah, the sight changes. Mm, okay, that's fine. Why not? I'm sure there was something here that we could have a look at. I mean, there's a freaking big gate there. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's try and go through door numero uno. Okay, I guess there isn't, like, a cutscene or anything here. To be honest as well, with a Thor's hammer, we're not going to use it, like, super often. There is a key here. Thank you. Not a key. A... Um, coin. Hello, my friend. How are you diddly doing? Yeah, I'm here, buddy. You okay in there? Oh, he's fantastic, Chris. Absolutely fantastic. Don't worry. I'm gonna find a key to this thing and get you out of there. Yeah, something like that, buddy. I'll be seeing you a little bit later. Right, let's go. Hey, don't worry, buddy. We're gonna be back for you. All right. Just, just bear that in mind. What could possibly go wrong? Am I right? The question is probably nothing. But that is for me to know and for you to find out. Oh. Now, was there a key around here? I can't even remember. Right, well. And I keep calling them keys. I, of course, mean a coin. I actually can't remember if there is one round here. Never mind. 
Ooh, hello. Ooh. Looks like we have hostiles. Come on, guys. One at a time, single file. There we are. Boom, baby. Ooh. Here's me. Hoping that that would actually hit more than one of them. Come on, buddy. Pucker up for daddy. Ooh. Got a little bit of a head sway going on there, my friend. Let's dump that mag out. You getting back up? You want some more of this? Oh, evening, gentlemen. Evening. Well met. Oh, you got a bit of a wiggle on. Oh, well, there's a couple of them. Well, have this to share. Oh, very effective. Very effective indeed. Oh, you want some of this? Say hello to Thor. Oh, and if anybody's wondering, Thor was a one-hit kill close range uh, on these guys anyway. As long as you hit him in the head, of course. Hello, my friend. Batter up, bitch. Ooh, you seem to be armless now. Okay. Well, they just keep coming, don't they? Let's get a fresh magazine in here. Come on, my friend. Shamble towards your doom. If we could actually aim, that would be fantastic. My name is Death. I have come for thee. Oh, the little fast movers. I remember these guys. You want some more, buddy? Yeah, of course you do. Well, I've got plenty. Alright, well. I think that's the locals under control. For now. They do have a habit of... Uh... Ah, there is another coin here. Cool. I thought there was. So how many is that we got now? It's got like three. Yeah, we got three. It is kind of a pain in the ass that um, those items take up inventory space, but especially this quick walk, I'm not noticing. Well, this fast walk, I'm not noticing much difference at all, to be honest. We'll have those bullets. All right. So, Chris, buddy. Ooh, evening. Hello. It's quite enough from you, honestly. Made me use all my ammo. We've got loads of frags as well now. Well, that can only be a good thing. I am certainly sure of that. Ooh, hello. Mm-hmm. What could we possibly put in that hole? You can't use it as is. Well, thank you, game. Thank you for your imp neuro stun grenades. Ooh. Well, that's swanky. And a crank. Let me guess. The crank goes in the hole. Selkie. Well, we'll have that, but we'll have that in a little minute. Shotgun rounds. Tasty. Very, very, very tasty. Now, anybody else want to, you know, jump out and say hi? Please feel free to introduce yourself. Um, we have nothing for that. I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Let's use our crank. Let's also take that. Oh! Okay, well maybe that's what we need the crank for. Twould make sense. There we go. Uh, oh, do, yeah, we need the cog as well. There we go. Use your big burly arms. Ah! Your new challenger arrives. Evening, gentle sir. Well met on the field of battle. Now this guy has a bit of an arsehole to him. Notice how he's white. Tell me what I'm at. Yeah. Ouch. 
Oh, caution is being exercised. I'm totally not running into him. Now this guy, we can't shoot him. This guy is impervious to our bullets. Which, between me and you, is a little bit awkward. He's also quite the fast chap. My, oh, oh, he doesn't follow us this way. Yeah, if we try and shoot him, it will mention that uh, he is immune to our weapons. I think you have to shoot him like three or four times. And I don't need to tell you guys that is like a colossal waste of ammo. Ammo is fairly rare in this uh, as well. I mean, you get enough to get you by because it's Resident Evil remember the, the massive um, tales of this game where, where people seem to have this myth that ammo was extremely rare and you only ever had barely enough to survive is uh, so over exaggerated it hurts you always have enough ammo in Resident Evil to get by anyway we have what we need yes we need to go talk to this gentleman here Hello, sir. Do I have the key to your cell? Your freedom has arrived. Ooh. Everything's all right now. That's just what he wants you to think. I'm just the bait, and you fell for it. Ass. Oh dear, this is gonna get worse Shit. before it gets better. Take the filter. On my mask. Hurry. But you'll die. Uh, I'm dead either way. <sighs> right, Grace. Just watch and learn. Oh boy. No. Well. Ooh. 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 The bleed Ned fell off. Literally. Uh, right, give me that filter. While we're still alive, Chris. I'm sorry. Are we actually going to die here? Because Chris is too slow. There we go. There we go. Now we have a high grade uh, filter. Why we weren't equipped with this when we came in, I don't know. But um, we now have one. Your contamination filter has been upgraded. It has. We now don't need to worry about any contamination in the air, which is really nice. There is kind of a Metroidvania um, element to this, which I appreciate quite a lot. It's really cool. Now, this guy is going to continuously vomit out blood by the look of it. Sir, I do not believe for one second that you had that much blood in your body. Okay, let's go. We have what we came for, which is the high-grade filter. There we go, Lucas. One of your tricks now no longer stifles our progress. No, don't you worry about it, Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Indeed, Chris. Anyway, my friends, we must uh, end this episode now. Um, yeah, so I hope you're going to enjoy this with me. This, I love this, man. I love this game. This game was amazing. This makes me very, very excited for the future of Resident Evil. And, you know, how long has it been since a Resident Evil fan has been able to say that? I am excited for the future of Resident Evil. Well, that's going to take some getting used to. I don't need to tell you. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.